This is the Outdoor Emergency Care Skill Guide for Obtaining a Blood Pressure by Auscultation. Ensure scene safety. Take standard precautions. Obtain permission to treat the patient. Hi. Is it okay if I take your blood pressure? Mm hmm All right. I'm just going to have you put your arm right here, out like that. I'm going to roll up your sleeve a little bit. Apply the cuff snugly here to the upper arm. Here we have the sphygmomanometer. I'm going to put it on here. Right. Palpate the brachial okay. artery. The arrow on the cuff should artery. be pointing to the brachial artery. Brachial pulse. Okay, I feel it. Put this on. Here's point it out like that. Place the stethoscope diaphragm on the artery. Make sure it's on the right side. Putting it where I found the brachial artery. Twisting this all the way. Grasp the ball valve and turn tight. clockwise to close. Inflate the cuff to 160 millimeters of mercury. If pulses are heard, inflate to 200. Keep going up by 20 until pulse sounds stop. Open the valve slowly and allow air to escape. Note the systolic pressure when the first pulses are heard. Note the diastolic pressure when pulses are no longer audible. Open the valve fully and release any remaining air. Some pro tips for obtaining blood pressures. Check the patient's arm for injuries before applying the cuff, and ask the patient if it's okay to use this arm for a blood pressure, as some patients may have pre-existing conditions. Control the patient's arm so it doesn't flop around. It is okay to apply the cuff over a thin layer of clothing. Ask the patient to supinate their hand and forearm for best access to the brachial artery. Do not place the stethoscope underneath the cuff. If the knob gets stuck, you can use your leg to help hold the bulb so you can twist it firmly without moving the stethoscope. When using the System 5 blood pressure cuffs, click the trigger forward to inflate. Squeeze it gently to let the air out, and pull the trigger to let all the air out when you're done. 